I have a sprint call in like one minute, so I really got to get to that right now. Okay, here's what's going on. We've got this brand new project starting in like, I don't know, three days. Absolutely everything included within the sprint, which is the next two weeks of work, is documented, it aligns with exactly where we want to be, and ensures that I have some really exciting work to do. Coffee time, baby! Now, I just want to say a big thanks to all of you who have subscribed, but overall it's been absolutely insane to see the amount of people who have subscribed to the channel. Herbie's very excited to have you here. I'm very excited to have you here. And without further ado, today is going to be a fun one. I won't be able to show you actual code, I won't be able to show you actual tickets, but I can give you a run through of the kind of work we are actually building and where I come into it. We've got a pretty packed day, so that's going to be great. Another thing that's really exciting, we have a new sponsor on the channel today, but I'm not going to show you who they are just yet. For all of you computer science guys or anyone who wants to start investigating into computer science, it's going to be for you. But anyway, we're going to get to that later. Oh yeah. Every day. My wife and I, we make a big batch of coffee in the morning. Beautiful coffee, and if you want to know what it is, this time, we're running the Supreme Organic. And we just do pour over, we make a big cup of it, lasts like the whole day. And I just go back, and when it's cold, I heat it up, get some more. So yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching the channel. Okay, so this new work, it's interesting because there's multiple teams involved. And my team is specifically involved in this context wrapper. And we're gonna make it really easy for developers in our platform and our protocol, essentially access our network, access assets on chain, access tokens on chain, connections into this pass as well. A lot of really, really cool things that for the next hour before my next meeting at 11 a.m., everything is documented, everything looks good. And no, I'm not a product manager. I want to help out where I can and ensure that we are on time, on schedule for this next sprint coming up. So yeah, I'm going to be helping out a little bit this morning. Don't start coding until you have everything written down because you'll probably end up getting crazy scope creep. In the end, you'll just get really, really lost and it gets really, really messy. Show you what's going on the ultimate demo of this someone in our company or in our ecosystem will be able to create a fresh react app or a next app and we're going to build this wrapper that essentially comes around like this and instantly provides this context with all these really really cool hooks functions that they can tap right into and gives them all these kind of superpowers. that's the most simplified version this is going to include lots of hooks and uh like authentication stuff but not your like typical authentication stuff it's going to be more like web3 kind of authentication stuff assets coming in we're going to have tokens coming in we're going to have transfers going in and out but in order to be able to do like any of this kind of stuff here and provide the hooks for those we're also going to need this like collection api thing get all these items so yeah there's a few different little pieces but the the moral of the story is we're building this thing which is pretty cool. Hey, um, by the way, I just did a poll on YouTube saying TypeScript or JavaScript. And I just want to put something out there. If you're selecting JavaScript because you don't know TypeScript, TypeScript will change your life. Let me put it this way. Instead of finding bugs in runtime in the browser where your production users are or your staging users are, TypeScript just doesn't even let you get there. This is, this is the main difference between JavaScript and TypeScript, which is just genuinely life-changing. Number one, you have live VS Code or whatever IDE you're using reporting of your types and the data that's being passed into your function. Say you've got a function in JavaScript taking in a object of a user. Name equals string, age equals number. In JavaScript, you would pass that object in. You're essentially just hoping that those values are in there. But what happens if there's no name? There's actually just some random like error message that comes in as a string. Everything's gonna break, and you're only gonna figure that out on runtime in the browser. TypeScript, on the other hand, it forces you to define what the type is that's expected to come in. Hey, if the type isn't this before sending it in, don't run this function. There will be a lot of TypeScript devs out there laughing and saying, bro, like, you're way hyping this up more than you need to. But genuinely, as soon as you switch to TypeScript from JavaScript, you're going to have way less production bugs, 
more hireability for employers out there. Any serious company will be using TypeScript in their repositories. But also, you're gonna have a great developer experience, especially for yourself and also your team. Highly recommend, if you haven't checked out TypeScript, go check that out. TypeScript are not sponsoring this video because it's open source. I just think TypeScript's awesome. Rant over. <laughs>
guys. Um, so, it's been a crazy weekend. I'm actually pretty tired, if I'm being honest. About to jump into our first stand-up of the day, where we're going to be kicking off all of that brand new work this week. So, uh, yeah, very exciting. Lots to go through. And, uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Just got off a hour and a half combined, two meetings really, uh, where we just went over everything, just got very, very clear on absolutely everything. Starting sprint either tomorrow afternoon or Wednesday morning. That's where we are. Something I was thinking about over the weekend based on something I saw on Twitter was a lot of people are just like stressed all the time. And I've been really trying recently to just de-stress myself by realizing that actually there's no rush to like learning absolutely every framework, absolutely every language, absolutely every, you know, the sky's the limit really. Anyway, long story short, if I can encourage you at all, it is don't stress about trying to learn absolutely everything. Like just learn one thing and just start moving. That's all you gotta do. And that's in everything in life as well, not just like software. Anyway, this is getting far too philosophical. Hope you guys are having a great day. On the weekend, my wife and I actually went through an open home and it was really, really cool. It was like, uh, cause this place is just a small little two bedroom and it's been absolutely great. Zero complaints at all. We went through this open home and it was like three bedrooms. We would have the opportunity to add another bedroom to it. We could build the sickest software development home office space and it would just be so, so exciting to renovate. We would have to sell this place, which is kind of sad if we were to do it. But hey, you never know. Maybe we will move house this year. Maybe we won't. Hopefully I can get some cool stuff up here to kind of kit out this wall um, but most importantly I will have a brand new keyboard if not a couple of different mechanical keyboards turning up soon along with a whole lot of different desk accessories potentially even going to have new blinds to replace the curtains here which will like open up the room so that's pretty exciting that's pretty exciting maybe our office will get a little bit of a shake up and if you're like me I'm sure you love desk tech as always if you're a developer make sure that you subscribe below and if you did enjoy this video you're probably going to enjoy these videos as well so make sure you go check those out as always guys i'll see you next week thanks so much for watching see you later